What is up guys? Today we got a special episode. We're going to go ahead and be upgrading the MacBook Pro 2012 13 inch base model. There's a reason why this MacBook Pro is still highly bought. This could be the reason being is because it's the last MacBook that Apple made that you can highly you can customize it. So at this point you can customize this the CD drive, the hard drive and the stick of uh, memory memory card. And with this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and um, start showing you the what parts we're going to be using. Um, we have the SSD drive right here, the Crucial um, by Micron, and it's about we have about one terabyte's worth of memory. This is probably the single best upgrade that you can get onto your um, laptop in itself. We also have the hard drive by Samsung. It's about two terabytes worth of memory onto that hard drive alone. So in total, three terabytes worth of memory. And we also have the stick of a memory card. It's about we have eight gigabytes worth of memory card that we're just gonna go ahead and replace it with. So and at the end, we also have the um, this the uh, hard drive uh, adapter, and that's gonna be used to replace the CD-ROM. And here's the tools that we're gonna be using. And at this point, it's a pretty simple process, guys. The laptop, um, the MacBook Pro laptop ha has uh, pentalobe screws, so you do need to get that piece as well. Uh, and then just go ahead and start unscrewing it. We have about 10, 10 screws on the back of the laptop. Make sure to place it on a piece of white piece of white paper or a magnet that what we used so that you know which part, which uh, screws aligns with which because it does have different lengths and you don't want to, um, to, uh, to, to miss that part. And so we're going to go ahead at this point, we're going to go ahead and take the, um, the power adapter from the lot from, from the logic board. Be very careful with it. It does have little tiny screws. You don't want to screw. You don't. You don't want to mess that up, and you don't want to bend any of the pins. It could mess up the process. Um, makes a much more difficult process than what it needs to be. And at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and start taking out the memory card. The process is pretty pretty simple. You just gotta remove the um, the memory card. There's about two. Uh, we have two of them in there, and we're gonna place it with the micron that I said before. We're going to place it back in there. I do know that it takes a little bit of finesse. You just got to jiggle it out there. And then the same process when you put it back in. You just go ahead and press it, press it back down. The last, the, the first stick that you put in, you have to press it down. Or both of them, you have to press it down, actually. And you just make sure that it's firmly, in place, uh, firmly uh, pressed in place because it could mess up um, um, the computer. So um, once that is finished, just go ahead and press it down, and that is done. That's probably the, uh, the most simple process of the, this installation. And at that point, you're going to go ahead and move that metal bracket on top of the uh, hard drive. <clears throat> and what that basically is, just to keep the hard drive uh, firmly in place. doesn't have much use to it. Um, so you also take, take the, um, the tape and pull it out. It makes it a lot easier. To pull it out, and then be careful with that ribbon cable with the power, the SATA cable, the SATA and power adapter. Be very careful because that pro, um, that that ribbon is very fragile. You don't want to uh, tear it or or mess or um or screw it up or bend it in place, you know. And then um, the hard drive does have little screws. Take those screws out, place it back into, place it onto your uh, your solid state drive. There's about four of them: two on one side and two on the other. <coughs> And then, so yeah, once you screw that in back in place, at this point, all you need to do is go ahead and start placing the um, well, place the, the the tape on like so, so it's a lot it's a lot easier when when you take it out next time. And at this point, just place placing the SATA and the power adapter onto the S the solid state drive. Then place it firmly back, place it uh, firmly back onto the bottom left hand corner of the uh, the MacBook Pro, and then place that metal bracket on top so that's firmly stuck in place. Then take those screws, screw it back in, and then you're set, guys. It's pretty straightforward. So, <clears throat> so we say the la uh, best part for last. It's probably a little bit more difficult. Um, what you guys do is go ahead and take those three ribbon cables that connects the CD drive and the power to the uh, to the logic board. Just go ahead and remove those. And uh, like I said before, um, make sure to be careful with those three ribbon cables on the top hand portion of the uh, the CD drive. On the metal bracket, on the metal bracket right there. Go ahead, you can go ahead and loosen it. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but uh, made made it much easier for us. And then at that point, you just gotta um, jiggle it and remove the um, the CD drive from from the bottom um, left, the top left hand corner of the MacBook Pro. And then you take your your um, 
your hard drive adapter place it place your hard drive the two terabyte samsung hard drive that we um that we recently bought place it into the adapter then go ahead and screw um in place so that's so it's stuck firmly you don't want any a lot of moving parts around here and then just go ahead and then finesse it back into um into the uh, top left hand corner of the macbook pro like so and just be careful guys uh you gotta be gentle with the ribbon cables you don't want to you don't want to bend it or tear it and then at that point all you gotta do is go ahead and then uh press the uh press the three ribbon cables onto the um onto the logic board and just make sure it's fully connected guys you don't want any missing uh you don't you want it to be misaligned or anything and then so what we're gonna do is go ahead and fast forward this video because the process at that at that at this point the process is just basically just putting it back all into place again on top hand left uh, top left corner we went ahead and unscrew um, some parts so that it'd be a lot easier for for us to um, take it apart and then um, once once you get that done go ahead and start placing back the screws in place And as you can see on the on the top right hand corner, we use the magnet, um, so we have we know exactly which screw needs which screw was in place beforehand. And a lot of it is, a lot of it are different lengths, like I said before. So at this point of, of the process, we went ahead beforehand. We took the uh, USB drive, and we placed the uh, the Mac OS software onto the USB drive, because keep in mind, guys, we are replacing the hard drive and the SSD, so we are moving a lot of parts. Um, so it's a, it's a completely new um, new memory card and new uh, SSD card. So we went ahead and, and placed in the USB drive onto the laptop, and we're tra basically transferring um, the macOS files onto the new hard drive. Make sure to, um, to rename the hard drives into whatever you please, and partition the hard drive as well. And keep in mind that you want a lot of your uh, your main uh, main software to be on the solid state drive because that's that makes that's that is what makes the laptop quick. And the hard drive, the hard drive, two ter the two terabyte hard drive can be used as a what like a lot of mis miscellaneous files that you don't really care about. You can place it onto that hard drive. So this point, we're just going ahead and renaming the hard drive, partitioning it, and make sure everything is uh, is correctly in place and then we're gonna go ahead and install the Mac OS software with us what we're using is the Mac o, um, OS X Mavericks we're gonna just go ahead and placing it into this uh, the hard drive so we're just installing at this point um, process is gonna be we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward this process because it's pretty it's pretty straightforward <coughs> And we're just installing the OS OS X. So this this MacBook is, uh, is great, and we, you'll you'll see by the performance um, how much a difference in performance just by installing the the solid state drive, this um, the hard drive, and the memory the sticks the the two sticks of uh, memory card. And so this is basically a new process. We're gonna go ahead and uh, have the the Mac OS X software. And as you can see, um, there's a couple upgrades right there. Those are all the specs that um that we can see that we that you can see, and we're just gonna go ahead and show you some of the specs. So lots of uh, new upgrades, lots of new differences based from the MacBook Pro 2012 base model that we had. This is a great alternative from the um from new laptops now nowadays. You can so you can save that 2012 uh, MacBook Pro that you have that you thought about upgrading from. Just go ahead and buy new parts for it. Only only con is that I guess you don't have the Retina Retina display, but that's a small price to pay. So um, this is my mistake, guys. We went ahead and got the eight gigabytes of RAM, not the not the eight gigabytes as originally said. It's eight gigabytes, so making about two, um, so about making about sixteen gigabytes worth of uh of memory, RAM. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and run some uh, Geekbench scores, uh, just so you guys can see the performance differences. <clears throat> We're gonna let it run a bit. So these scores right here, um, we have the Geekbench score of seven thousand six hundred and five. So that's a pretty good Geekbench score, guys. Uh, if you guys want to see all the all the specs right here, you can go ahead and pause the video and then take a look at it. A lot also. Uh, also, you can go onto the website as um, as well, the Geekbench score website, just so you guys can compare the differences. Uh, 
of the of the speed and the processing of the of com the, the computer and you can see how much a big difference the new upgrade um, caused <clears throat> and um we went ahead and, and got the got the the picture uh, the video for you guys as well this is the previous performance of the MacBook Pro so go ahead if you guys want go ahead and uh, you can freeze frame it you can take a little picture of it and then you can, you can compare the the new uh the differences in speed from the um the the base model and then the new upgrade that we we chose <coughs> So at this point of the video, we're just going to go ahead and run some basic process. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with some apps just, just so you guys can see how fast uh, these apps are um, these apps are loading. And this is mainly due to the uh, the solid state drive, guys. I think the, if you guys were going to make a, at least one upgrade, the best upgrade you can do is probably just upgrading the solid state drive. That makes the performance a lot, um, makes everything a lot more quicker and um, a lot, a lot uh, a lot makes it process a lot a lot better so as you can see we're running a lot of apps and then it went up pretty fast compared to the the previous base model so there you guys have it this is base this is um you can keep the macbook pro 2012 uh, with some simple upgrades the ram the um the memory card or the hard drive and the SSD, you can make a really high-performing laptop in 2017. Even though this is a five-year-old laptop, it's still running. It can still pretty run pretty much well, pretty well. So it's a great laptop, guys. You can save some money. You don't need to buy a brand new $2,000 laptop. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more suggestions, go ahead and press down um, on the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe.